Hey guys, how's it going? This is a continuation of my Ruthless Adventures on Hardcore Solo Cell Founds in the new Affliction League, Path of Exile. So I've been playing right now for uh, I think two days and a half. Yeah, two days and 12 hours. I dropped a few upgrades. So my wand, I have this kind of funny three modifiers rare wand here. Uh, plus one to fire gems and 80% uh, fire damage plus some um, implicit cold damage. Uh, it's, it's okay, it gives me some chill. Uh, because of cold damage, like 5% chill or whatever, which is nothing, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, and uh, also lightning damage, um, I have lightning damage through Sigil of Power and uh, Arcane Cloak. And uh, the idea behind Arcane Cloak is for me to spend mana, because I need to spend mana to get to... So every time I spend 200 mana, I get to proc Ar um, Arcane Surge, and Arcane Surge, because I'm playing Illuminated Devotion, I then get to have this 50% uh, reduced effects of non-damaging ailments like shock, chill, and freeze, which is something that kills you in uh, in Path of Exile a lot. Uh, shock is the craziest thing, so you you really want to get immune to shock, uh, and also chill and freeze, of course. Uh, so how do I get to 100%? I already showed this on the previous video. You can just grab Anointed Flash with these two modifiers here, but you still get to burn. So burning is something that unfortunately I cannot get immune to because it's a damaging ailment. So Illuminate Devotion doesn't protect against uh, burning, but uh, it is what it is. You cannot get protection from everything with this class, but uh, you can get protection against most, th most things like bleeds, for example, you can get um, immunity to bleed. Uh, through this armor and evasion mastery the last line that, as you can read uh, immune to bleeding if equipped helmet has higher armor than evasion and since i'm running a pure armor helmet i can just get free immunity to bleeding so in fact right now i was going to drop this flask because it has uh, bleed immunity and i don't need it anymore and uh, instead of that flask i think i have plenty of options i fortunately i dropped many flasks on my hardcore run so far i can pick among anything really but i think phasing is something that i'm missing so phasing can be sometimes key to survival because there are times where uh, some mobs can have haste or something like that and those mobs can be there are multiple modifiers in which the mobs get to be invulnerable like there is the immortal shrine there is the immortal modifiers on the rare mobs there is haste so the mobs can very quickly um you know surround you and since i'm playing firestorm the damage is not instant i have to guess to like i have to the duration has to uh go all the way you know the two seconds duration from firestorm has to happen for me to kill the mobs i cannot just cast the skill and kill the mobs sometimes so uh yeah phasing is very important so since i was missing it i'm gonna try to craft something right now so let's Okay, armor. <laughs> so this is actually lucky. Uh, increased armor is very good because I am an armor-based character. As you can see, I have 9,000 armor, 78% physical damage reduction, which is pretty good. And uh, since I'm talking about armor right now, uh, the next two points, so right now level 84, but level 86, I'll grab Iron Reflexes, which will convert my 500 evasion that I have here into armor, which is uh, pretty huge because I have about 100 about 100% armor increased percentage from the tree. So that's 500 gets to be like a 1200 or whatever. So uh, I will have about 10,000 armor here, which then is uh, like 83% fizz, redu uh, fizz damage reduction, which is pretty huge. So yeah, uh, that's that. So yeah, now I'm gonna, uh, I think enchant this last one more time just to see, okay, maximum chargers, that's pretty cool. So now I have um, phasing, which is cool. So I'll, do it like this and uh yeah so i also have unfortunately i can get cursed so i need a curse removal flask which is uh this one i got fortunate to roll this flask because you know alterations are really scarce so throughout my leveling and uh also mapping so i'm level 84 right now i only dropped about 10 orb of alterations and i used four already to re-roll the maps that have uh elemental reflection of course i don't want to run elemental reflection because i just died in one firestorm probably so uh yeah you have to pay attention to the maps that i run as well so yeah alterations are really really rare but yeah so that's that and uh so what else did i change here i was looking in my tree 
earlier today and uh, I was going to make some changes. So I was going for tolerance, as I explained in the previous video, which gives me chaos resistance. But my chaos resistance uh, is about 37 right now, and I don't think I need more than 37. So instead of going for this whole, you know, long path here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points to get 32% uh, chaos resistance. Instead of doing this, I decided to just grab the Bleeds immunity, which I think is more important than chaos them uh, chaos resistance right now, since I already have 37% positive chaos resistance, and uh, yeah, bleeds immunity is just uh, really huge, and uh, it's something that I have never played with before uh, this league because there wasn't a bleeds immunity mastery back when I used to play, which was uh, maybe one year ago or whatever. I don't know when this released, but this is pretty huge. So you can get either, you know, poison or bleed immunity, depending on uh, if you have high, you know, higher armor than evasion on your helmet, like I have right now, uh, then you get to be immune to bleeding. But I think I talked about this already. So that's that. So now I'm going to show you some gameplay. Um, let's run this Castle Ruin. So I'm running anything between, you know, Rank 1, uh, Tier 1 to Tier 5 maps, so whatever drops I'm running, this is ruthless, you cannot really choose why you run, per se. So yeah, that's that. So let's do it. Hmm. And by the way, this also removes Corrupted Blood, and I have immunity to corrupt, uh, Corrupted Blood here, I think, yeah. I cannot be maimed, I cannot be hindered, and I cannot be affected by blood, uh, Corrupted Blood, so I really don't need that flask. So anyways, let's do it. So my gameplay here on Ruthless Hardcore uh, is very, you know, cautious and always just trying to read the modifiers on the mobs because uh, you can always die to some crazy modifiers like the Chaos Flowers that drop on the ground when you hit a rare mob with this uh, rare modifier. If you kill the mob, they explode. And if you are on top of the flowers, you just die. <laughs> so. You have to really pay attention to that, and uh, but the worst modifier, in my opinion, is the lightning totems. The lightning totem is such bullshit, uh, in my opinion. Even though I have shock immunity 100% of the time, I still get just destroyed by the lightning totems because I don't have uh, good movement speed, and uh, on ruthless you don't have movement speed skills besides this huge cooldown quick step. And so sometimes the lightning totems are just faster than you are. So then you get hit all the time by like uh, 800 damage for each lightning totem. And keep in mind, I have 80% lightning resistance. I have 80% all elemental resistances. Um, and so even with 80% lightning resistance, I still get to take like 800 damage for each pulse of the lightning totems. And guess what? The lightning totems spawn in like six or eight totems, so you have to really run away <laughs> if something like that happens. So, uh, yeah, it's very dangerous. I think it's the worst modifier that I can find. Uh, it's even worse than the gods modifiers. You know, sometimes you find this rare mob with the the gods, like a uh, blessing or whatever, and. Uh, even those modifiers are less dangerous than the lightning totem. I think the lightning totems should be deleted from the game. It's so, so bullshit. Uh, in fact, I died to the lightning totem. Maybe that's why I'm so pissed about it. I died last league, uh, rank 22. I died rank 22 last league, uh, which is funny because I'm rank 22 right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, deja vu. It's happening again. Uh, so I died rank 22 last league because of the lightning totems but i did not had or i did not have a like a shock immunity but right now i do have it so hopefully if that happens again at least i have shock immunity you know so i don't take as much damage so yeah that's that but anyways as you can see my play style here is just slowly just you know clearing the map very uh, cautiously reading the modifiers this guy has extra life this blue pack so nothing dangerous just you know kind of go through the mobs here because this is a very low tier map so i'm not really hugely per se scared of the map i can just run through like this uh, because i've already done many tiers uh, you know level 70 zones here but you can still die sometimes even though it's a level 68 map tier one you can still die to some bullshit 
that is Path of Exile, so there is always a way to surprise you <laughs> with some crazy damage, so you have to pay attention. So this guy, for example, you have to read before you kill him. It has fire and uh, extra life. Because if you kill m rare mobs without reading, sometimes you, the flower that explodes can kill you. The chaos damage flowers or, you know, uh, there is the poison damage uh, as well, which is chaos, I guess. Uh, I forgot the name of the modifier, but there is a, a floating chaos damage that also spawns after you kill the mob, which can be dangerous as well. Uh, there is the the mob uh, respawns after being killed, which can be dangerous as well. So there are plenty of things that can always uh, just shut you down, you know. So yeah, this is the explosion, for example. So I have to be far away so I don't get hit by the fire explosion. I don't even know how much damage that does because I always dodge it. But maybe one day if I get distracted, I can just get one shot by the fire explosion. So... Path of Exile is a game about paying attention to whatever is happening on the screen. And if you can do that 100% uh, of the time, you can pretty much play Hardcore. If you cannot pay attention, then uh, yeah, Hardcore probably isn't for you, I guess. Because <laughs> yeah, you just die to one shot. But anyways. Alright, so, so far, so good. Pretty uh, easy map going smoothly these mobs are not dangerous as well, at all i think the the most dangerous mobs are the spellcasters so flame the flame harbinger the mobs that are similar to the flame harbinger that cast like fireball or the ice spear uh goldman those are very dangerous as well even if it's a white mob if it's a huge pack you can get killed by some hasted uh you know pack of white mobs if there is a rare mob around or something like that or increased damage to uh if they get to get their damage increased by some rare mob it's also very dangerous so yeah the spellcasters are the worst hence why you really need like as much elemental resistance as possible because the spellcasters are really really dangerous but anyways All right, so now we can do the boss. 45 monsters left. Probably these are the final monsters here. Yeah, 24 monsters left, so just do the boss. All right, this boss is pretty easy for me. Kind of, you can just stand still and uh, deal damage. So with Firestorm, if you can stand still, that's the you know the biggest thing you can do pretty much because uh, you get to stack Firestorms on top of each other and then you deal more damage. So. If you can do this that I'm doing right now, it's pretty huge. Alright, and that's that. Kill the blue mobs for some experience here. Alright. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, my build so far, it's working. Uh, I did not plan anything, and it was, you know, I... I'm playing just on the fly. I'm trying to build something decent. Um, I, I got this lesser Eldritch enchantment here that unfortunately gave me lightning damage. So it's kind of useless, but you know, I do get some lightning damage from Arcane Cloak and Siege of Power. So not completely useless, but could have been better. And uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for now. I'll see you guys then next video with the, uh, the f final, uh, you know, the the very ending of the Thursday because it's been just 12 hours. I have another 12 hours to go on the Thursday. So yeah, I'll see you guys then I guess tomorrow with the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.